everyone, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to do a simple makeup look. Um, I think this is this is one of the first palettes I ever like owned. Um, this is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. So this does have all types of finishes. It doesn't have sparkle, but it does have satin and shimmer and some mattes in there. And I don't really think I've showcased this on my channel yet. So I'm going to do a very neutral look today. I'm going to do glowy skin. And the one thing that I forgot to mention was the first time I did this little review for you, this is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Foundation with SPF 50. I didn't do a wear test. I feel so bad because I said I was going to come back and tell you guys how long it lasted and how um, kind of good, like how when it started to break down, and I never did. So but like I said in the last video, I'm also going to use a brush because a brush will give me the full coverage that the product is claiming. So I'm going to start with primer, of course. I'm going to fill in my pores with this Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I'm just going to put this product on my forehead, nose, and chin. And then I'm going to go in with another Becca product. And again, this is probably the first product by Becca I ever owned was the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I heard about this from Emily Jean. I love that product. I've been using it right from the start, like before I started my channel. And it's really, really nice. It doesn't give you that like sparkly glow finish, but it's just really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm just pressing that first one into the pores. I'm going to take a little bit of this and take two pumps. And this one is going over my entire face. And this gives the nice glow effect underneath your foundation without being too glowy, if you know what I mean. I smooth it all over. Oh, my face feels so nice and refreshed. And that last one, well, the first one had like almost like a summery melon scent. And then the Becca, like the lighting product has, I want to say a citrus scent. It just smells so fresh and nice. So I will be using my Sigma brushes. This is the F82 Round Kabuki. So this is smaller, but it's very dense and the product goes on really full coverage. Always shake up your foundations. You should actually shake up any liquid products just so they are well mixed. I will put it on the back of my hand because it doesn't come out in pump form. It just is this really watery consistency. So it it's actually not too watery because it's not really flowing that fast. But I'll take a little bit with my brush and I will start buffing this into my skin. And when we come back, I will show you what it looks like. Um, with my entire face covered. Um, I'm still applying this foundation. I've used, like, this is maybe the fourth equivalent to four pumps, and I am not seeing full coverage here. Like, this is my spot here, and you can see it. Like, it's almost less than medium coverage. So now I'm just trying to do, like, a stippling motion and see if I can, like, um, kind of build up the coverage to be more full, but I'm not getting full coverage at all here. And it's kind of like, I don't know, if a product's going to claim that it's full coverage, you should be full coverage, right? Like, I guess it is buildable, but I think if, if they're saying that the, the product is full coverage, the first application should pretty much be full coverage. However, I don't really feel like I've got makeup on, so that's always good. And it really isn't, like, it doesn't make any claims about being matte or anything like that, or having any kind of flow to it or anything like that. It just says, I guess the main selling feature is that it has SPF in it, because most foundations, basically all the foundations that I own don't have SPF in them. So I always use an SPF cream like moisturizer beforehand if I'm uh, during the day if I'm going outside. I'm not sold on this foundation. I guess now like if you can build it up it looks kind of full coverage but I mean I can still see everything underneath my skin. I think I have much more luck with the Fenty soft matte foundation. We're just going to use my liquid Catrice cosmetics <sighs> camouflage high coverage concealer. I can't talk today. But yeah, I was kind of getting into just kind of wear testing my Fenty Soft Matte Foundation again because I'm all excited for the new one. 
and I realized that it gave my skin such a nice finish. I just, I haven't used it in a long time because I don't really know why. I remember when I bought it, the sales associate at Sephora said that if I decide to wear it and I have kind of normal to dry skin, that I really have to exfoliate well because it will pick up on any dry patches on your face. But I honestly don't have that problem. You guys know that if, if you haven't been here before, you don't know, but I tend to use like a nighttime mask, some moisturizers. Um, like literally I'll take like a mask, like a nighttime cream mask and just like slather it on my face and use it as a daytime moisturizer. So it really helps my skin and I find that really helps. And of course in summer, my skin is a bit more moisturized anyway. And I think I bought that foundation in winter. So yeah, I just, I really make sure I exfoliate like really well. It's like every time I shower, I rub my face, not raw, but I just make sure that like all of the dry skin is off my face. It's why my face is always lighter than the rest of my body. I can't even really put self tanner on it because it doesn't stay long enough. Okay, so I've put the camouflage, the Catrice camouflage concealer all over my eye area. I'm not going to highlight the rest of my face, just under the eyes. And I feel like it's creasing a little bit. I'm going to go straight in with my Hourglass of VL translucent powder. This is my favorite powder for making a look really glowy and dewy. And I'm not going to use much powder at all today, so I'm just going to start under the eyes before it has a chance to crease and just set the areas mostly where I put the concealer but I do like to set my entire face very lightly just because it does make your makeup last longer and this is usually how I do I'm just going to take my large powder brush okay next I'm going to quickly do brows I'll do them off camera just to save some time I'm just going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz and my clear brow gel. Alright, so eyebrows are done and they're looking pretty good if I do say so myself. I think I took maybe like a minute on them, like it didn't take long at all. So I'm going to bronze my entire face with my Tarte Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. I'll just dip my large powder F30 into all of the shades just to give a nice all over bronze. And I really like to use this large fluffy brush because I don't want to have like a particular line right by my jaw here. When I'm bronzing, I want the color to be blended really, really beautifully. So I just kind of stipple the brush all over my face, um, obviously hitting the high points of my face, so the middle of my forehead, the middle of my nose, and the tops of my cheekbones to make it look like I have a natural tan. And this does help to match with my body. I will take my F10 powder blush brush and I'm going to dip it into my Benefit Coralista blush. I'm not really using this as a blush per se. It's going to be more like a blush topper because I already have like a dark... Sorry, I lost my eyebrow there. <laughs> I already have pretty dark cheeks with that bronzer. So we're just going to use this to give the face a little bit of glow. This has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's really, really pretty. And then if I do have any line right here, I just kind of blend it out with a clean brush. Because I'm not contouring today, I'm just gently bronzing. I'm doing a very simple eye look today. Um, I'm gonna take I'm actually going to take this Heaven shade, it's like the white shade in the palette. I'm actually going to go in with my E50 fluff brush, it's just like a really wide brush. I like to take that color and just pop it all over my lid, just to brighten things up and so the shadows do not skip. I know I did like set my lids with powder after I did my concealer but this is just kind of like an extra step that really helps the shadows glide over your eye. I'm going to go in with a clean E40 and I'm going to take the shade Strip Poker. I like the shade names for this too. And I'm just going to add this to my crease 
for a really light transition color here. And you can already kind of start to see some definition there. So next we're going to go into the shade Cashmere Bunny, which is right here. It's just a little bit darker now. And I'm just putting it, running it over the exact same area here. And I'm using a very light hand on this step. And then next we're going to darken up the outer crease. I'm going to use my E25 blending brush now. It's more of a flat, a fluffy brush. I'm going to go into the shade Success Bro. Success Bro. Wow. Sexpresso. Sexpresso. There we go. So it's like the darkest brown matte shade in the palette. And I'm just going to deepen up the outer crease. I really enjoy using matte shades for the crease work. And if your base makeup is already done, it's important that you tap off your brush if you're using dark shades especially. So I'm using the shade to kind of shape the shadow the way I want it on the edge of the eye. And I'm also bringing it towards the middle of the eye a little bit. And this just shapes your eye and gives it some dimension before we add any shadow to the lid itself. Okay, I think that looks really, really nice. So what I would do is take that very first brush we used and just use it to blend the edges up here a little bit, maybe down around the edge. Okay, so it's always good to just kind of take a step back to you and make sure that both of the eyes are even. So next, I'm going to take the shade Honey Pot right here. I'm going to warm things up a bit. And I'm going to take a flatter synthetic brush now. So I'm actually just going to take the shade, or the shade, the brush, E32 Exact Blend. I'm going to spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on the brush. You could use your finger for this step too if you like that. I don't really like getting product in my finger, so I tend to go for brushes more. So I'm just going to take this shade. It's very shimmery. And I'm just going to put it right on the lid. I find that um, without having to do like, a cut crease with concealer, sometimes if you wet your brush and then put a really shimmery shade on top, sometimes you can get kind of the same effect. And I mean, you can get a softer effect if you choose to blend it out, but it also, if you can make a really nice straight line, sometimes you do get the exact same effect rather than using the concealer with the cut crease. So that's just a little tip. I'm just going back in with that E25, not adding any extra product on it, and just kind of blending over that shimmer shade and blending it a little bit into the dark. And then as for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with my smudge brush. I'm going to go back into the shade Heaven, so it is a matte shade, but I think it'll highlight the inner corner nicely. And then we're going to take a clean pencil brush. This is the E30. And now I'm going to go into the shade Chocolate Martini. This is like my favorite um, kind of like rich chocolate color that has shimmer. I love this shade. There's also Erotica if you want things to be a little bit more neutral. But I really like the Chocolate Martini shades. So we're going to use that one. Tap off the brush and I'm just going to line the bottom lash line with this sparkly shade. So I'm just going to wipe out any fallout again because it's such a dark shade. I'm just going to gently take the, ooh, which do I want to take? The first brush that we used just to kind of soften the edge because I brought that dark shade a lot further down than I thought it was. But if you blend it out a little bit and just make the edges softer, sometimes it just looks better so we blend that right in and I'm not going to do a line on the upper lashes I'm just going to go straight in with mascara now and I might add some lashes but I'm not going to do like a liquid eyeliner so I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and when we come back I will let you know what lashes I decided to use. So I added lashes, I did use the Kiss Lashes in the style Poise, and I also sprayed my face with some of the Morphe Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist. So I feel refreshed and kind of ready to go. I'm just going to line my lips with my favorite lip pencil, the 09 Milani Color Cement Spice Lip Liner. Uh, I'm going to do a very quick line, but I just wanted to say that I am bringing the color kind of up 
a little bit more to blend into my lip. I feel like this pencil is getting very short, but I've got a couple more. I just like to use one up before I open a new one. And I'm going to use the Becky and uh, Chrissy Taking Glow Gloss in the shade Beach Bum. I think this shade is really, really pretty for summer. And that is the completed look. So again, you guys, it's very neutral. It's very wearable for every day. But yet you can do a lot with the eyes. If you didn't want to add eyelashes, that would make it a little bit less extra. As well as if you wanted to make the eyes darker even, you could add liner. So that is it for today's look. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. Until next time, you guys, have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Bye.